Roman, can you ask Iraqi, uh, does he have legal rights to carry those guns or that's illegal gu guns? <laughs> Ira, Ira, <laughs> yeah. That's all because of his strong opponent. He's such strong opponent. He has such a strong opponent that he cannot just come with the small uh, guns, you know. So how how are you, Kader Gali? And how, how is your shape? Kader uh, uh, Gali. I took shit. He says, "Thanks God, everything is good. I, I feel stronger now and uh, uh, well, training hard for the title." Is he even better shape than when he was against Michael? <laughs> Uh, since then, uh, I have been exercising many other uh, sort of exercises, I added many sort of exercises and sort of added weights to them. And also my own weight uh, increased a bit. Irakli, your, your opponent says that he feels even stronger than the last time. How about you? How do you feel? So he said that uh, about himself, uh, he also gained after uh, his uh, victory over uh, the one and only John. Uh, and uh, but he he knew uh, the mistakes that he know he knows he, the mistakes he did, and he tried to overcome those mistakes, fix them. And he said that uh, strength-wise, I have never doubted myself in any other matches or whoever mm -hmm. I face. Uh, if it goes to the uh, power, I'm, I'm all in. I have no doubt of my powers. But he said that from John's match, he gained uh, more uh, experience and more technically, he got better than more power. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. does, he, does, he, does he sometimes think that when he is getting like, like last match, like did he so much depend on his power and kind of like lost the control and is this the lesson that he, he learned from last time mm -hmm. so Engin, he's, he said basically a yes to your question it means that uh, obviously he knew the power would be enough and sufficient for against john but it as it appeared also he proved that strength wise he was enough but he was not enough technical wise to be a dominant one so that's what he aimed to fix in this case and then he also remarked uh the fact that Gidir Gale is the uh, one of the best technician we uh, no, in arm wrestling, and especially in his weight category, one of the best, if not the most technician ones. So he mm -hmm. sure needs to be technically prepared against Kedir So that's what he also focused on. I have a question for Kedir Gali. I personally was like very impressed the way that Kedir Gali pulled against Michael. How patient he was, how intelligent he was, how he did the timing so good, everything. Um, how come he performed so calmly, so experienced, so in control against someone like Michael while he never pulled against someone like Michael before, as far as I know? Was everything planned already, the way that he pulled, or he yeah. just felt and reacted? <laughs> So as he said, uh, he has never faced anyone uh, who had uh, the like wrestling style as Michael. Open arm couple, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, he said like he watched uh, the uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, videos uh, with Michael's pulling, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, has prepared his endurance enough uh, for the match. Um, and also during uh, during the match after the first round, as uh, he said, was the lesson for him. Uh, so yes, yeah, so he uh, he managed uh, to adjustments yeah, adjustments and tackled the the style that Mike offered. So. Tilki Wilki admitted Kidir Gali, were you about to gas out versus Michael? I thought he was actually slowing you. Yeah, yeah, Kushum hold. He said, uh, no, uh, he had enough of strength after the match, enough of power after the match. So he, he, he was not out of gas? Uh, no. He, wasn't, he didn't run out of gas. He still had the power, he says. Yes. Okay, I understand. Then Irakli, <laughs> you tried to top roll John, and you, you bring him here, but you lost your wrist. And you did the transition to shoulder press. Was this 
part of the plan or this just happened like it was not part of the plan so he started saying by uh the plan that was not the part of the plan he has not uh, specifically was preparing for because he had, he would never imagine that he would be pressing john down and winning in such a fashion me neither the, i never thought yeah. that it was surprised yeah, so yeah. that was definitely not the part of his plan he <laughs> he tried obviously his main move which got stopped and then he said that um when i pressed him first time when it came like first time in uh, mm -hmm. in the round uh, he felt that he kind of twerked uh, john from the position like made uh, john to lose some position advantage and he felt that in that moment iraqi felt that he had uh, some quite of the uh, power like strength wise that he mm -hmm. could have relied on in this position mm -hmm. so in a later round, especially in the third round, he said that uh, when uh, John throws him in the center, he felt problem here in the elbow. And he was like, he definitely knew could not go in hook. He said that I could not go top roll either. So just in, in sake of stopping John at somewhere else, he dumped his wrist and mm -hmm. he, he went this so that he would feel the power in this lost position. Exactly. So at mm -hmm. some point he managed to stop John, and then he felt that from that position he could uh, just uh, like adjust and use the technique to finish John. And he also said that uh, even uh, he mentioned Petrenko's example first. He said that we saw Petrenko pressing him down. We know how uh, we know how strong Petrenko is, but mm -hmm. he was not that much effective with that press against John. So. Uh, he Iraqi mentioned this when he was talking about there were definitely not the plan. I would not imagine to press down John. Like yeah, that. is that is that true that uh, Iraqi's new favorite arm wrestler is Jerry Kadaret? He said that uh, that's not the case. This technique and this type of uh, pulling is very harmful and very bad. He's speaking from mm -hmm. his experience. And in time, if you do this constantly, you you're bound to get some injury. So yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely not yeah. his favorite technique. Uh, can you ask Sultan Kidirgali that uh, uh, what does he expect from this match? Does he expect, like compared to John and Michael matches, what would be the difference in this match from his side? Like what does he <coughs> concern about Iraq? Uh, I personally respect every uh, athlete in this sport and so uh, expect uh, uh, train uh, always hard for every opponent um, mm -hmm. so and I can say what I'm gonna do since I respect everyone what I'm gonna do and uh, during the match and not uh, but right now I'm in very good shape and uh, training hard so uh, inshallah I will do my best and Iraqi Co compared to compared to your previous matches, what do you expect from this Kedergali match? Do you like people? People think that you are very strong. This is what I read. They say Iraq is very strong, but people says that Ongar Bev has better control. So this time, like you probably will do your best to not to go here but this time you will probably try to have the control like so do you focus more on controlling having the hand control or do you focus more on just with as much as pressure to do pimpet you said you took your lessons but uh and also if if somehow if somehow if you lose your wrist do you think that you will be as effective against Kedir Gali as you were against John. Mm -hmm. So he started saying by uh, the risk control, like uh, when I asked, are you going to go to just uh, surge and try to pin him or are you going to uh, start controlling his hand? And basically he said that every athletes like stylistically who are pulling like me and Kedir Gali, are, they are focused on gaining as much as control before the goal as possible and then mm -hmm. uh, win by the uh, controlling opposition. Uh, op uh, opponent and that's what he's going to do other than that he also said that uh, obviously this is a title match very important one for me so i will be prepared as much as i can 
using all the arsenals. If it takes uh, me to uh, finish Ongerbar just like I did against John, I will uh, not back down and try to do that one as well. So if if it's necessary, he also mm -hmm. said that about ABC theory of armistice, like if one B A beats uh, B and B beats C, it doesn't mean that A beats C. He basically mm -hmm. said that he doesn't agree with the people who say that uh, he did not be, uh, win against John as effectively as Kirigali did against John, and therefore Kirigali would dominate Iraq. He doesn't think uh, that way. And he said that I'm not talking about only my match mm -hmm. against Kirigali, mm -hmm. I'm just saying in general. So it's yeah. his general opinion. It, it all depends opponents, how opponents arm feels, how opponents hands feel against you. And no matter if he beats someone that uh, that one guy beats you, you still have a chance. That's basically what he said.